Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to take you through a newborn edit using the Picture Perfect Portrait Mega Set and a little something from the Blessing Set. I'm using a beautiful photo from Robin Long, and uh, we're going to start here. I'm going to start with some uh, cleanup work. I'm going to zoom way in on this little girl's face and just clean up some of the little flakiness and baby acne. And I'm going to create a new layer here and work on the new layer. And we're just going to use the healing brush. We, can, we could use a spot healing brush too for some of these, these spots here. I'm going to move my brush size up by hitting the right bracket key just so it surrounds that, bl that blemish. And oh, uh, this is what you need to make sure. I just showed you a uh, boo-boo. Uh, make sure you have sample all layers selected when you do this if you're working on the, on the blank layer and it's gonna sample from the layer, uh, all your layers, uh, but you're making sure that you're getting uh, sampling from the layer below you. And you just click on it and it cleans it right up. It's a wonderful little tool, very quick and easy for these little tiny spots. Uh, you just wanna make sure that you're not that your brush size is just covering the surrounding area, not too far out. And just makes your cleanup work really quick and easy with the spot healing. Uh, for bigger areas, I, I might grab the patch tool or uh, the healing brush, but the spot tool, spot healing tool works lovely on these little tiny blemishes and she doesn't have a whole lot going on so that I think that might be all we need for her. Uh, you might, like if you have a longer area, grab the healing brush and sample your area by hitting option or alt, clicking on the area that's clean and then running over the top of the area that you want to heal. So just, and it keeps, I, I'm resampling or reselecting where I'm telling it is the good spot every time I click. So I click here and I brush there. I click here and I brush there. I click here and I brush there. Um, it just keeps it keeps it, you from getting a pattern going on where you can see where it's obvious that you did the healing work. So I'm not always resampling as I'm doing this. And once you get the hang of it, it becomes second nature and you can just fly through the edits. And for this area here, I'm gonna now I'm gonna select the background, and I'm gonna make a copy by hitting Command J or on a PC Control J makes a copy of your background, and I'm gonna select my patch tool, and I'm gonna just select this little strawberry here, and drag that up to a clean area. Select the area I want to heal, or patch, and then drag up to the area you want to sample from. So. So select and drag. I want this area right here looks clean. Drop it and, it and it blends that healing into that area. And now what happened there is I, s I selected that and dragged over, but I have the other layer that I did the healing work on on top of it, and so it looked funky when I dragged it over because I wasn't thinking. I'm going to merge my healing layer that I did first. Those are all the little blemishes I healed with the spot tool. You can see the before and the, uh, the before and after, and I'm going to merge that down into the layer I'm working on with the patch tool now so I don't have those mishaps again. And I'm going to just hit uh, Command E or Control E on a PC, and it just merges this layer into the one underneath it. And so now I'll continue with my patch tool really quickly here. And so you get the point. I don't need to do too much. She's Babies are beautiful as they are. I don't like to do too much to them. I want their mommies to remember them as they were as babies, not as little dolls that are perfect. So um, because they are perfect and uh, as they are. So uh, there's uh, before the patchwork and after the patchwork. And again, I'm going to hit Command or Control E and just merge that into the background. And so now we can start on uh, the other work with the actions. And I'm going to just do a little bit of color correction here. She's got a lot of times babies will have purple or blue hands and feet. And so um, what might look like uh, red to some people is actually magenta. Um, you don't want to do too much red removal on babies because it's going to add cyan, and the more cyan you add, the more gray their skin is going to look. And um, 
and babies are pretty red to begin with, so we don't want to make them look too much unlike they are in real life, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm going to select the Banish the Magenta. And I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to turn up these layers all the way to 100%. And then I'm going to go back here to my main layer, and I'm going to hit Command-I or Control-I on a PC, and it inverts that layer so it hides this so I can paint it on exactly where I want it. And so I get my white brush tool and start painting over her little hands. And I have my brush opacity down. I'm going to turn it all the way up. So paint over her little hands there. And um, that looks, looks better. But I think I'm seeing some blue in there. So I am going to uh, banish the blues, run that. And again, this one doesn't have a layer mask on it, so all you would need to do is go down in Picture Perfect again uh, to your Make Layer Mask Hide All. And it makes a layer mask there and tells us that we can make the a layer appear by painting on that mask with white. And so I'm going to go over the top of her little hands here with this. Make sure you don't get it. Her face is not needing that. Make sure you don't get on her face. And that looks better. And flatten. And so let's show you how far we've gotten um, before and after. That's very subtle. but. And then we're going to do a little tiny bit of skin smoothing. I'm just going to run the perfect portrait all-in-one portrait retouching action. And this is going to give us a whole bunch of layers at once to work with. And I'm going to select the skin smoothing layer and drop my brush eyes up. And and this has a soft pop in it. I'm going to turn that off because I don't like that harshness on a baby. And just paint over the very the smooth areas of her skin. Don't touch, like right here. Don't touch the around the nostril. Don't touch around the lips or any of the little wrinkles and creases that give the face character. We don't. It makes the baby look too smooth and makes it look obvious that you have painted on their face and uh, want to keep it natural. So just paint on the very smooth areas of their skin. And I'm going to turn, actually, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to, I'm going to select the I detail and sharpen layer and paint on her little eyelashes and her lips. And then I'm going to select the darkened pupil and lash line and take my brush size down with the left bracket key and just paint on her lashes. That's too dark. I'm going to turn down opacity a second. Paint on her little lashes there and I'm going to turn that way down to 15%. So before and after. And I'm going to turn that skin smoothing down a little bit. And flatten that and run one more. I'm going to run the altogether now clean all-in-one workflow. And I'm going to drop the opacity down on that to 55%. And the shadows are a little bit too contrasty for my taste for a baby. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select the rich in shadows and turn that off. And let's see here. turn the soft pop layer off inside the light and contrast folder. 
So there's our all together now, just a subtle change. And you can make it black and white with a silver screen goddess layer up top if you'd like. I'm gonna flatten that. And when, run one last little touch over the top of this. I'm gonna run Beloved from the Blessing set. And drop that down to 45%. Flatten. And now, let's look at our before and after. And I would probably do a little bit of, I would probably take my patch tool here. I'm going to create a copy of a layer and take my patch tool, clean that blanket up there, and get rid of those little wrinkles. Do it over here. Um, So get rid of those little imperfections back there. But take my cloning tool and just make it really big and drop the opacity down on it to 40% and clean up some of those other little areas there. When you're doing that kind of this this work on blankets and such with the cloning tool, make your brush really soft and really big so you don't see like spots of where you're working. Okay, so before and after the cleanup. And if you wanted to soften it up more even, uh, you could use uh, the Whisper Very Softly action from Blessings, or you could use, uh, the because uh, it has a little bit of an artistic flair to it, or you can use uh, the Selective Depth of Field uh, Selective focus from the Picture Perfect set and brush that on this background to make it even more blurred back there. That's a perfect application for that action, uh, an image that already has some bokeh and a blur going on in the background, and just to intensify that a little bit more. Uh, so there we have it, a newborn edit uh, before and after. Once again, before and after. And I thank you very much for listening, and I hope this was helpful. And I hope you all have a beautiful day.